Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing my Is It Delver deck for Standard, but first, real quick, uh, shoutouts to Magic with Zuby for shooting me a code uh, I could redeem for a handy little card style. He was asking what everyone's favorite M21 cards look to be. I was, I'm kind of a fan of Red Polymorph, so. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we got a. Ferris Band Brawler. Don't worry, we got a second one. <laughs> We've got a second code we can try out. I don't know that these are redundant. I don't think they are. But give me just a sec. I will be just a moment typing these in. Do 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 And if not, I guess you guys get another code too. But I'm pretty sure they're they're non-redundant. So, all right, let's see what we got this time. Ooh, red glow. Okay, okay. Want to? I want to brew around this card. Fair enough. All of the tokens, and they happen to be Sarah Angels, because of course. All right. So there we go. Now that that's out of the way. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> Let's see. The quest today is, as I recall, twenty blue or green spells. Yep. All right. Here we are. So we're going to be playing now. I'm not going to be doing ranked. Unfortunately, I've had some disconnect issues, and if it disconnects in a ranked game, you lose some rank, so it counts as a loss. So we're not going to be doing that right now, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Alright. In the meantime, Shinji, once again, joins the fray. Shinji for Smash Ultimate. Everyone for Smash Ultimate. Alright. What would that even look like? Jeez. I guess they do scale characters for Smash, so like Ridley is supposed to be way bigger than Samus, but not for Smash. So I guess you could see something like a smaller Evangelion. That'd be kind of neat. Smaller giant robot. Uh, we're gonna keep. This looks fine. Give my opponent the hello as soon as we can. Yeah, this is a ton of card draw. Granted, if we lose the Sprite Dragon and we don't find a third land, we might be in a bit of trouble. Just maybe. The deck only runs 22 lands, and we're about to fetch one of them out. Alright. Hide that information. Instead of using it now, just hide that information. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that Sprite Dragon is not going to live for too much longer. Alright. Aha, okay. And then... Fly, you fool! All right. Poking for one. It will get significantly bigger. Giggity. Alright. Um... Okay. No, no scour yet. I'm gonna do this now. Uh just so that I definitely get the lower cost. If they try to kill Sprite Dragon in response, I'll at least have gotten the, the two-mana investment there. And Tyrant Scorn. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's fine. That's why we do it that way. And then pass. Holding up that murder mana. Aha! Okay. Um... They're not gonna take the opt anyway. Oh, wait. I would be very surprised if they took the opt. I'm gonna guess Crackling Drake. Yep, there we go. Called it. Alright. So then... We'll cash in this wild card. That's alright. We can make that work. Definitely. And then once again, I'm actually going to fire this off so I can try to hit a land drop. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay. There was a delay, so I thought they might have had something weird like a... Well, this is standard, so not disfigure, right? Something. Something like that. What are you doing? Dude, all right. So the count is three. We're not, we're not there yet. We're, we're getting there. Ooh. 
Yes. Okay. Now they know all the cards. Take the wing words, I'd guess. Hmm. No, it is exiled, so it doesn't actually contribute. Unfortunately. Alright. No, they already know what's in my hand, so I'm not hiding anything by doing this doing this now. Uh, blue seems a little more important in this matchup, just a little bit. Okay. Well there we go. Um Actually gonna do this now. Main phase anticipate. Ooh, okay. Do this too. Alright. There we go. Either way, they're not in a great sp I mean, they're fine, I'm sure. Oh, hi, there's Ashiok. Okay. That's fine. We can actually take out Ashiok next turn. Let's see. Yeah, either way we were gonna be able to take out Ashiok. So let me let me read this just to make sure. Attacks or blocks. Okay, so it doesn't make any difference at all. Alright, trigger. Five. So we would need to activate this, which we can do. We'll activate it. Alright. And then there we go. Alright. What is this thing again? Ooh, okay. Interesting. Radical idea. Alright. Oh, did they not get anything? What is this? I missed it. What happened? Oh, they just got another one. Did it again. I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. Absolutely. We can go double lava coil. While they're tapped out, I'm actually strongly tempted to do that. Double lava coil. Let's go. It's kind of a two for one, but at least we're getting some counters on Sprite Dragon as well. Nothing else. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. We don't actually need to fire this off now. Alright. Here we go. It doesn't change the clock, you see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I don't think that works the way they think it works. It doesn't get a counter, you see. Oh, they, they could actually... Oh, no, never mind. They can adapt it. They have the mana to do so. Okay. Fair enough. That's certainly fair enough. Okay. Well, now we do have to find something. So we'll make this a little bit bigger. Alright. Shock. What's their life total? Got him. Got him. Alright, and they're tapped out too. I'm actually going to use the Radical Idea first, just for the quest. Since I know they can't do anything about it. This is going to look so, uh, BM though. Alright, there we go. Yeah. And then have at it. It gives the... It's fine. I guess I should have used Radical Idea first then. So that, you know, because I drew Terramander. Extra blue card for the quest. Well, that just kind of happened out of nowhere. It's okay, shock off the top. Turns out that's, uh, that's pretty good when you knock the top of your deck. Alright, ooh. It's not particularly hot in here, but, you know, having hot tea, that'll do it too. Also, wild hair. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
I have a hairbrush somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's okay. What's well, not okay? What is this load time? Ay ay ay. I did say I was going to try to brew around few or uh. Oh jeez, was it a uh, finale? There we go, finale of glory. Let's see, big mana white decks. Hmm, they, they don't involve Convoke. Okay, there we go, we got there. I guess I could run it in, I used to do uh, m uh, mud decks. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, <laughs> I love playing older archetypes. I love bringing them to standard. Mud, that used to be a thing in standard for me. It's fun, it's fun. We got, I gotta run both Karns and Ugin. And lots of mana ramp. And um, Icy Manipulator, I believe. And Manifold Key. Yeah, I got to do a bunch of stuff. Bag of Holding to thin the, or to filter the draws. Shoutouts to Selesnia. I've mentioned this only a billion times, but it's my favorite guild. Um, I'm actually going to play the Temple first. I'm going to give up Opt for this first turn. Ooh. We'll hang on to you. Okay. And then play out the dragon. Boom. Ow. Okay. Well, while we still have it, maybe this will be life gain. Life gain the deck. Maybe auras. Whenever you cast a knight. Oh, a knight. Okay. Um. I guess I should play winged words first. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Didn't make a difference. That's okay. Um. Does it matter whether I play the castle here or not? I don't think it does. I will play the island instead, though. Ooh. Now the second one, though, while I don't even have the mana for... <laughs> well, actually, that's the third one. Jeez. Alright, and we'll hit. Hit for as hard as we can. Okay, so this is this is humans, maybe. Or human knight. The, the deck is weird. Runs a lot of humans, if this is what I think it is. No, it may not be. No, it is just knights. There's no black for general. Alright, ow. Whale, okay. So, um... Play winged words. Try to draw into a red source, that would be nice. I mean, we kind of got there. We'll take it. We will take it. I'm actually going to do this now. Maybe. If they'll let me. We'll see. Hopefully. We'll grab one of our mountains. Mountains. Oh, it is awaiting a response for them. Okay. It's not just loading slowly or something like that. Now, how do you actually pronounce this name? I know it's a character in uh, Greek mythology, but I'm not completely sure how one pronounces that. It's also a, a Yu-Gi-Oh card back when I played Yu-Gi-Oh, so I should know, but I don't. Okay. Uh, uh, kill it. Oh, tapping it. Okay, that's fine. Keep. I can live with that. Oh, wait, what just happened? That's an, that's an oops, isn't it? Tap up to two target creatures. I, I kind of don't want to attack, to be honest. I kind of feel bad about that. You know what, this isn't ranked. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no attacks. That's fine. Because there's no way they didn't intend to tap this creature down and just had like a misclick or something. 
Okay. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Instantly regret it. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. We're playing to have fun. As well. Oh, maybe I should fetch first. Just to thin the deck out a little bit. We're gonna get an island anyway. For Terramander. Alright. There we go. Hello, 4-4. Four four. Actually, you know, I probably should have gotten a mountain for shock, just to deal with Worthy Knight. That is going to get out of hand. Another card I could have put in the main board or sideboard is uh, Blink of an Eye. Ooh, uh-oh. This is a prime day for justice. Sure. Oh no. Indestructible? Yeah, okay. And it's gone. Okay, fair enough. So now then... Now then... I, I guess we should shock. Yeah, we're just better late than never. I'm gonna do it now. I'm not too worried about Gideon on his own, because he's a 4-4 four four and I have a 5-5. Five five. So that's not... that's not the real concern. Oh, oh. Although I do actually have to... Let's see, what are we at? Five now? Let's see, if I go Steam Vents... Yeah, then I won't actually have enough for Terramander, will I? Yeah, 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 I see, I see. Hmm. Can take two, play another Crackling Drake, and I won't be able to adapt the Terramander. Still probably right. Oh boy. We are just gonna... Oh, and it gives lifelink as well, doesn't it? Vigilance, lifelink, or indestructible. What do you do again? When it dies, okay. Um, I'm not going to attack. It's likely enough that we'll be able to find something like a Lava Coil. Oh! I should have attacked the Gideon. Forced them into the block or lose the Gideon. It's playing too conservatively on that. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I messed up. Alright, indestructible. No blocks. Uh-oh. Alright. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for. We'll start off with an Anticipate. There's Lava Coil. Okay. I think we got him now. I think that we got them. Yeah, because we, we have 16 on the board. Oh, did I already play a Yeah, there we go. Oh, they could have an instant. They could... Oh, they could tap my creatures down. Ooh, that would be... That would be funny. Alright, do it. Do it. Tap my creatures down. Nope. Alright. Well, it's too late now. So that's not it. They may have had something else. <gasps> Pinches the battlefield. <gasps> oh! Oh! 
Nice. Give him the good game on that one. That was good. That was good. Uh, there's no point in continuing. Wait, 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 wait. There is a point in continuing on. It's letting my opponent get their attacks, uh, if they have an attack quest in. I try to remember to do that more often. Oh, there we go. I believe in you, friend. Alright, should be, uh, lifelink, okay. Nope, you got me. Now, to be fair, I did take a turn off from attacking because my opponent misclicked. Although, I also didn't attack the Gideon when I should have, so that one's on me for sure. Yeah, oops, oops. Oh well, oh well. You live and learn, I guess. I guess, I hope. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Oh yeah, that's right, we have to go through this loading screen of death. So how are you, YouTube? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm having a good day. Out of tea. Fresh out. That's okay. Hopefully we won't go too, too much longer. I'll go until the quest completes one more game, in all likelihood. As, as, as these games have been going, just one more. One of the joys about Blue Quest is that you can usually resolve them pretty quickly. You can complete them because a lot of blue cards say draw a card. So you find more cards to complete your quest more quickly. So at least that's nice whenever you have one of those. It did say green as well, so I could have brought the mono green deck back, but no, that's not a real thing. It's not. Sorry. All right, there we go. Oh, we're so close. One more. Give it one more good go. One more go. The last one wasn't so good. Last game was weird. I am that guy that gives take back scenes in a competitive REL, so infamously, apparently. But it's all right. All right. PK, PK Diego. If you ever played Earthbound, you know you could you can name your move, uh, PK Rock Star or whatever. Well, I don't know what the official name was. I don't remember what I even called mine way back in the day. But uh, PK Diego, I'm sure would work. Let's see. So what do we have going on here? Yeah, we'll keep. It's fine. Oh yeah, worked out. Got there. I'm gonna do this first, it's okay. Alright, see what we have going on. Yep, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't like that color combo, though. It's going to be a problem. Get an island. Island. Okay, now we can just kill it. We'll save that, of course. We don't need to use it right now. Um, I'll s make sure this is an instant. It is. And then pass the turn. If we need to, we can burn it there. But remember, all of our creatures fly, so the death touch here does absolutely nothing against us. It is a two mana, one, two. All right. Take it. And what's next? Oh, they have another one? I'll just draw a card. Okay. Whale. Well, there's a lot going on here. Hmm. We have too many cards in hand. We are going to have way too many cards in hand when this is all said and done. There's a side of me that kind of just wants to burn what- well, no wait, we have just enough. Okay. If I play winged words, we'll have too many. And then I'll need to find something to do with them. Um, I do want to make sure I hit a land drop next turn. We'll be a little bit wasteful with one of our cards. Oh, never mind. That's an easy one to get rid of. Uh, d we'll discard Radical Idea. Discard a Jumpstart card. Fair enough. So, Glimpse and Radical Idea. Oh, what's this? 
Two damage to target opponent. Okay, cool. A lot of creatures I have. Oh, it, it has to hurt itself. I wish. I wish so badly. Alright. The life total's not too high, admittedly. Um, let's just get rid of that now. Alright. And then pass. And we can use Radical Idea if we need to. Okay. That's a thing. That's a thing for sure. Uh, yes. Discard. Uh... Well, how many cards do they have in their grave? In their... Yeah, one. Okay, it's just Crocs. Okay. We haven't exactly been making it easy for them to fill it up yet. Now we have a problem, folks. Uh-oh. Yeah, let that resolve. Yeah, I'm very glad I didn't use Radical Idea burning a Crackling Drake. Cycle here, discard a shock. That might burn us for when uh, Croxa comes back, though. Okay. Well, I guess we'll play the temple first, since that one's going to have to come in tapped. Scry before we draw. Sprite Dragon. Okay. Um, we're, we'll keep it, just in case they can kill this creature. All right, 6-4. Here goes nothing. And then next turn we can go uh, Sprite Dragon, Winged Words, Lo- uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we're gonna end up doing. Sprite Dragon, wing Words, Lava, um, Lava Coil. That seems okay. Oh boy. Choose blockers. No blocks. Uh-oh. Oh, well, they do have a they do have a flyer now. Okay. Sprite Dragon first. Let me be careful how reluctant I am to do this. Okay. So then, Winged Words. I don't have any double red spells in the deck. All right, draw two. Okay. Beacon Bolt. Hello. Yeah, we'll burn it here. Alright. I'm getting a little close for comfort. A little bit close. Yeah, fair enough. I don't blame him. Alright. And that can keep them in the game for a little while. Not as long as they think, though. Alright, so I'll take one. Uh-oh. Okay. Stuff. Stuff is happening. Um... I kind of would like to anticipate here, actually. Okay, good, good, good. That's okay. Not you. Not you. You get to stay back just in case. Or maybe it... No, it's fine. Yeah, just let them go through. It does mean that top deck shock isn't lethal, but that's that was to be expected anyway. Ooh, okay. My army will envelop this oh, I do love a good death. Mmm.
Okay. Yep. Alright, so they don't know. They don't know I have Sleep of the Dead. Oh, hello. Hiya. Oh, it didn't let me get there. That's okay. Sleep of the Dead. Why would anyone expect that? They wouldn't. Oh, such a silly card. I, I feel as if that should have been 3 for 3. Game 2 was just weird. Game 2 was really, really weird. <laughs> uh, the deck seems... The deck seems fine. It seems fun. And we have about three-ish months left to play with it. So I'm going to be jamming this a good bit. I Crackling Drake is one of my favorite cards in on Arena. I've been playing it since since it came out. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Pretty fun. Uh, Sprite Dragon helps out with that a lot. It, it feels like an Enigma Drake replacement. And in Pioneer, I am indeed playing a one of the decks is a Crackling Drake Enigma Drake deck. Uh, where you just draw and kill your opponent's stuff until eventually you have a giant flying X4 creature. And Sprite Dragon is actually going to go in in place of... I used to have Spellheart Chimera. Chimera? Chimera. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Whenever it decides it wants to load. A little easier to kill, especially in a format where Wild Slash is a thing, so... Maybe I need to be careful, but on the other hand, I get to run Anger of the Gods if I run Sprite Dragon, because it can actually get out of range. Alright. And it flies, so I can... What? Flame Sweep? <laughs> There's a side of me that wants to run Flame Sweep. Just as an asymmetrical... Well... Alright, so there we go. Now, I'm actually not going to be spending these, because I saw in the store that... Da 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 da! Loading it up. My internet's slow. Alright. Where were you? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> okay, well, there was at one point, it was showing me the historic bundle. And historic bundle 2 is about to go out, so I'm saving up for that. It's 25,000 for four copies of, and then there's a nice long list of the cards in it. Uh, so, before that runs out, I'm gonna end up buying those. Having a bunch of historic cards will help with brewing. Thank you, Michael1916, for the uh, creator brew off. So, it'll help out with that. Plus, historic is its own unique format, unique to here on Arena. So, it gives me a chance to try it out more. I don't know. And Thalia's in it. And I don't have Thalia yet, so I need to, I need to rectify that. I need to fix that. Alright, take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!